tonight. We'll have those stories for you in just a moment. But first, the city council has approved a deal for almost $2.3 million with Ergon Asphalt and Emulsions to help with street repairs. And that's generated some concern because the company was a part of a major water crisis here back in 2016 that hasn't been resolved just yet. Here's our Jeremiah Marshall now with the details. That's right, Lee. I spoke to a couple city council members. One who was in favor of this says this has everything to do with asphalt and separate from water issues. Another council member says it's best not to do business with a company that could have contributed to a citywide crisis. For years, city council has made repairs to our city streets a top priority. Those upgrades come at a cost. That's why the council has approved a renewal contract of nearly $2.3 million to Ergon Asphalt Emulations. To break that down, that's $750,000 every year over a 36-month span. You may remember that same company was involved with a citywide water ban back in 2016 that lasted four days. However, Mayor Joe McComb says the subjects are different. I think people ought to just uh, get on with their business and, and enjoy the smooth streets. Although he says the water ban was unfortunate, there's no ruling from the TCEQ or EPA that the water crisis was Ergon's fault. Well, one, the incident was a non-incident in that it had no impact on our water supply other than just a temporary interruption. And two, it's a product they've been producing for years, and we continue to use it following the incident. And it's, uh, I guess it's like you're being charged with a crime, and you're not guilty. But Council Member Paula Guajardo isn't sold on the new contract. We're, we're giving taxpayer money, $2 million, to a company who could possibly have a conflict of interest with us due to that. She says another contractor might cost the city more, but it would keep taxpayer money from a company that could still be found at fault for our water band. The state has not come back to say what their determination is. So it's a $2 million taxpayer contract. So I did not feel that that was in the best interest of our citizens. Jeremiah Marshall, Chris 6 News. Meanwhile, we checked on the status of the state's investigation into what caused that water crisis back in December of 2016. TCEQ has referred its investigation over to the Texas Attorney General's office. So we asked the Texas AG's office for an update, but we haven't heard back from them yet.